So in our previous web dev tip, we looked at how you could extend classes in TypeScript. And in today's tutorial, what we're going to do is actually pass in additional properties to a new constructor function within our extended class while still keeping the existing constructor function from the base class. So in case you missed yesterday's tutorial, uh, what we've basically got on the left-hand side here is what we call the base class, which essentially is a class which doesn't extend anything. Whereas on the right-hand side, we've got a class which is extending the user class and it's adding in some additional properties. But what we want to do is when we're creating a new developer object here in TypeScript, we actually want to pass in this list of skills and populate this skills array uh, directly from the constructor function. So at the moment our developer class doesn't have a constructor function so let's add one in now and see how we can manage the two constructors in both the base class and the extended class. So let's first of all set up the constructor function here and we'll see straight away that we get an error and the error message from TypeScript is coming back saying that we must contain a super call. So I'll explain what that is in just a second. But what we're doing here is creating a constructor function for this developer class here. And you can see we're also getting some error errors down here saying that we're expecting zero arguments but we're passing in two. So what we need to do in our constructor function arguments is basically mirror what we've got in the base class. So when we're creating a new developer we're going to want to populate the name, age and potentially is pro dev option because that's optional and so what we're going to do is just copy this across and pop this into the constructor function here and you'll notice that the error message here for the constructor has now disappeared but we've still got this problem here actually in the class itself uh, and we've still got that same error saying that we need to do a super call. So what the super call does is basically calls the base class with any arguments that you pass into it and populates this constructor. So it's basically a way of passing these three arguments if they're present into the constructor function of the base class. So if we do something like this and say super, and within the super function, it's like a call to this constructor function. So we still need to pass in these three arguments here. And you can see in Visual Studio Code, it's telling me that. So I need to pass in a name, age, and potentially is pro dev as well. So I can literally just pass in these arguments here as they're passed into the constructor of the developer class. And let's just pass in all those three there. And you can see now we're getting no error messages. So with that super call in place, we should find that the error messages have gone from both this constructor call and the constructor function itself. But there is one other error that we're missing here at the moment. And if we scroll up, we'll see that here on the uh, class developer. And if we look at that, we can see that uh, the error message that TypeScript is giving us. So TypeScript is telling us that we're incorrectly extending the base class user. So why is that? Well, first of all, uh, if we take a look at the base class, uh, if you remember from the previous tutorials that we looked at, we've declared name and age as private member variables, which basically means they can't be accessed anywhere other than this class. So what we're actually doing in the developer class is creating name and age as private members again, which would lift them up to this sort of uh, scope of the developer class. And that's basically clashing with the base class uh, member variables of name and age as well. So one thing we could do for that is just remove the private access modifier here and just say that those are properties that are passed into the constructor but they're not actually member properties of the developer class. And you can see that error message now goes away. So now if we go to the terminal what we should find is when we run the code uh, that we've got our object being created but we still haven't achieved what we were trying to do at the start of the tutorial which is to pass in some skills as arguments to the developer class. So that's simple enough all we need to do really now is to actually create a new argument in the constructor function and then pass that in when we're creating our developer objects. So let's just create a skills which is just basically an array of strings and what we can do now we could create that as a private um, member variable as we did with the uh, base class and then we can just remove this from up here and then when we're creating our new uh, developer object uh, we pass in the name the age and then let's just pass in an array of strings for the skills so we'll say uh, typescript oops and also javascript and if we save that and run the code again we should find that that skills array of strings is populated in the object that's created and that's because up here we're passing in skills as an argument and it's been set on the developer objects when they're created. 
So you go, there's a way that you can extend a base class and then add in additional properties to the objects by simply adding in additional arguments into your constructor function. And we've also seen how you can use the super keyword, the super function, to call the constructor from the base class to make sure all of the other properties are populated as well. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.